Personal story segment tonight, as we told you last night, tragedy has hit the Fox News channel. Analyst Mary Catherine Ham's husband, 34-year-old Jake Brewer, who worked as a tech guy in the White House, was killed on Saturday while riding his bicycle for charity. Jake was hit by a car. Obviously, our prayers are with Mary Catherine Ham and her family tonight. But we wanted to tell you a little bit about Jake Brewer. And here to do that is Juan Williams. So you, you knew Jake and, and obviously Mary Catherine, you're partnered up with here on The Factor every week. Tell us a little bit about him. You know, it's interesting. I, I, when I was first introduced to him, they got married in April of 11, but uh, they met way back and I think it was on some political panel in D.C. She introduced me to him and I thought, man, she's going out with Tom Cruise. I mean, this guy was so intense, Bill, so vibrant, so energetic, gifted guy. In fact, later she told me you know, they dress up as Captain America for Halloween. She said it wasn't that they were fans of Captain America, but that he was such an amazing guy. She thought he could be Captain America. That's, right. that's how special this guy was. So he worked in the White House as a tech, right? I, he... No, no. On the t he was a guy who was helping to create more of the transparency and technology that's used to get out services so that you would have a better government. I mean, this guy, and this is very important to Mary Catherine, that people understand this. He was not some partisan warrior. He was a guy that was trying to make government work for people. And so, so he was beyond the politics he of it. But he was doing that in a tech technological, not editorial way, right? That's correct. Okay. So, I mean, he had worked, for example, at a group called Change.org doing the same kind. So he had these skills, how you use social media, how you use the Internet, mm -hmm. how you use that to help people and to help create better government in the country. So they put together a uh, family where they have a two-year-old now? Yes, and, and she's pregnant with another. And this is another amazing story. You know, she, she said on Friday, I just spoke with her today before the show, Bill, she said on Friday, you know, she was out of town. He had to stay home and he helped get the two year old out of bed, dressed, fed for breakfast and all that. She said normally he would have been gone to work a lot of time. And similarly, when they did an ultrasound on the pregnancy, she had turned her head and Jake was able to see the sex of the baby. And she right. said, you know, it's just a matter of grace that he knows he has a relationship and dreams for that child. So the baby is due in November and yeah. it's another girl or boy. We don't. I don't know. Okay. So um, this is an unspeakable tragedy. Nobody can process this. It happens uh, every day uh, to human beings all across the world. There's nothing anybody can do about it but say prayers if you're a believer. He was riding his bicycle for charity, right? What was charity? The charity? Cancer. Cancer right. research. So he was trying to raise money by, by doing a bike ride. And what happened? Do you know? He was picking up speed and racing and lost control of the bike and crossed the yellow line and the traffic from the other side hit him. Oh. You know, I just want to tell you, so I was talking to Mary Catherine today and she said, you know, she wanted you, Bill, and the Factor family not to look at her with sadness, but to understand that Jake and she would want to go on in terms of being fun, vibrant, engaged people. She wants you, Bill, and the Factor folks to know that and not to look at her with sadness. No, um, but there's yeah. a dignity to everybody's life. And uh, from what I understand, I never met Jake, but he was uh, an extraordinary young man. Oh, no right? doubt. He was raising an extraordinary family with Mary Catherine. Oh, my God. And again, you, stuff like this happens. And, you well, know, you know, she said to me today, she said, you know, she she's surrounded by family and friends, both his family right. and hers. But she's trying not to let herself go crazy. No, like, I know. How she's could you stop this? Why she why did he have to go on that ride? Did we spend the last moments doing the right things right. When together? I, talk to, I haven't talked to Mary Catherine yet. I don't want to intrude, but I will talk to her soon. What I'm going to tell her is it's all about your kids now. Right. Everything your whole life for the short term. It's all about your children, you know, getting them through this, getting them nurtured, having a healthy baby. And, and the legacy of, of Jake Brewer will live on. I mean, it will. I mean, and, and we want to appreciate you. I know it's very difficult for you to come in to talk about it, and I appreciate you doing this, doing so. And I want to tell everybody, there is a fun set up for Mary Catherine and her two children, one expected to be one, as we said, in two months. You can help out by going to brewerfund.org, brewerfund.org. Also, we have lots of information on BillOReilly.com about the fund.